Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you what I did with my pantry groceries last week. Some of the stuff I made and some of the staple items, how I used those. This is our breakfast this morning. So we've got Instant Pot oatmeal with a little bit of Greek yogurt and frozen berries. And then for sweetener I used this stevia, liquid stevia. This bottle is 15 bucks online, but it will last a very long time. And it's a good option, a good frugal option for a natural sweetener. My uh, two pounds of beans made three quarts, almost exactly, three quarts of cooked pinto beans. So I'm probably going to use one for... Um, refried beans, another for like soups and just adding to stuff. And then, who knows, I might do half and half. I might. So, it's a late night here, just me and baby girl, and I decided to make some tortillas with my flour that I showed you earlier, and then we've got some oil and salt and water, and that was all that I put in those tortillas. Now I'm cooking it in a little cast iron skillet. If I were doing a bunch of them, if I weren't just cooking for myself tonight, hey, hey what do you want? I would use like uh, a griddle, but tonight it's just me. So we're doing the cast iron skillet. Okie dokie, so I have made some of those beans into refried beans. I've got my tortilla dough from last night. I'm gonna fry me up some tortillas and then I'm gonna make, hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna make the tortillas first or if I'm going to make it like a pocket thing, like, what do they call those little pockets of Spanish stuff? I don't know. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to use some eggs. I haven't used up my seven eggs today, so I'm going to use one or two of those, probably fry it up with the refried beans, put some cheese in there, get it all melty, mix it up, and then add some of these fried fajita peppers and maybe some chicken, just to make it a little bit more meatier. So that's what I'm going to do for today's lunch. Hey guys, so Thursday soup and sandwich day. We had sandwiches for lunch, so now I'm going to make chili for dinner. We've got an onion over here, some homemade taco seasoning, garlic powder, because I'd love to put some fresh garlic in there, but we don't have any. So garlic powder, a can of tomato paste that I opened a couple days ago, that enchilada sauce that I mentioned last week, some beans that were part of our weekly groceries, some homemade chili powder there, and yellow peppers, some chicken, and then we've got some cheese here for topping. So that is going to be our chili. So here is the chili. It is finished. I did put some green onions in there, some fresh, or um, char chives, I'm sorry. So some fresh chives from a pot that I've got. So. Let me ask you, does this look watered down? Because I got roasted. Um, somebody left a one-star review for my book. And she was just vehement that I actually suggested adding more water to this chili if you don't have quite enough. So, um, just by the very nature of the recipe, it uses tomato paste, so you have to add water. So uh, my thought was, well, if you've run out of stuff to add, just add water. Some people were apparently not impressed by that suggestion, though. Anyways, this is my chili. I think it looks pretty good. It is Saturday, and I made some bread in my handy-dandy bread machine. 
So usually it doesn't turn out this ugly on top, but this is real life people. So that's what I made today. That's my recipe there. It's really simple. Pretty cheap, so. The bread top, the top of the loaf, has got to be the very best part of the whole entire loaf of bread. So I've taken that off and I am going to put some of this really yummy, no sugar, it has honey. Honey sweetened black raspberry jam on this piece of super yummy premium homemade bread. Hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, be sure to click the like button below and subscribe for more cooking and menu planning videos. See you guys later.